I was hungry. Did you feed me? I was thirsty. Did you give me a drink? I was lonely. Did you know me? Did you take me in? I couldn't keep, I couldn't, it, together. I couldn't keep together. it together. There was, there was no, no dad, dad involved. involved. My parents weren't around. My parents weren't around. around. I didn't have a church. I didn't have, I didn't have, a I didn't have anybody. I didn't have anybody. Prodigal sons on a city streets they run searching for shelter. On a single day last winter, 636 people were precariously housed in North Idaho. They slept on friends' couches in detox centers. They spent the night in a motel or in a jail. On top of that, another 559 people were homeless. Of those 559, 230 of those homeless are women. There are many reasons that they are now homeless. Some ended up on the street from a divorce or family breakup, others from a mental disability, and some from alcohol or drug abuse. Does this bother you? Does this make your heart just ache? Or is this just a side issue and an inconvenience to your life? The Apostle James said, If a brother or sister is without clothing and in need of daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warm and be filled, and yet you do not give them what is necessary for their body, what use is that? Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead, being by itself. James wasn't talking about a salvation gained by works. No, we know that salvation is by faith in Jesus alone. He was just saying that real love manifests itself in action. John wrote, this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. Let me introduce you to One Day's Pay, Don't Look Away. It's just one way you can get involved. Until now, Kootenai County hasn't had a long-term recovery center for women and children, but that is about to change. The Union Gospel Mission plans to open a center for women and children in July of 2012. It will have a kitchen and dining room, a chapel, a medical clinic, classrooms, a computer lab, and a child care center. Located near Tomato Street and Coeur d'Alene at 196 West Haycraft Ave, the 43,000 square foot facility will accommodate both rescue and recovered guests with an overall capacity to house 80 to 100 people. So what is One Day's Pay? It's an opportunity for your people to bring what they make in one day. We don't care how you calculate it. It could be what they make for a year divided by 365. It could be just the work week, 52 weeks. How, however you want to do it. But bring what you make in one day and all of that money in its entirety will go beyond the four walls to support the Union Gospel Mission Women's Shelter. The Union Gospel Mission hopes to break the cycle of hopelessness. UGM has no desire to keep people in poverty or homelessness. Once a person's immediate needs of food, shelter, and clothing are met, the goal is to address deeper issues. Their recovery programs are directed at whole person transformation, body, mind, and spirit. God has already provided about 75% of the $8.5 million the Union Gospel Mission needs to get this facility built and furnished. And this is one place we, the Body of Christ, are planning to help. On November 20th, the Sunday before Thanksgiving, churches all around Kootenai County are joining together to help raise the remaining $2 million UGM needs to build the Women and Children's Center. It's called One Day's Pay because on that Sunday, each person could give the amount of money that they would make in one day. Pastor Kurt from Coeur d'Alene Bible Church and one of the reasons I'm so excited about the UGM project here in Kootenai County is it's, it's going to change lives. 
And it's not just in the lives of those who receive the services. We're excited about the recovery and the restoration, but it's going to change lives of people who are part of our churches. Phil Altmaier, Union Gospel Mission. You know, the Union Gospel Mission has been around 60 years to serve the needs of the poor in the community. The reason we're coming to Kootenai County is seven out of 10 individuals that are homeless do not have a shelter to go to, and there is no recovery center for women and children. This shelter will provide an opportunity for the church to get involved in ministering to the poor, and it'll be an opportunity to disciple, walk alongside them, and mentor them when they leave. Paul said it best in Ephesians 4, 4 through 6. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. There is only one body. We are that body. Let's work together to help Union Gospel Mission get this Women and Children Center built and running. We sing along with the songs the faithful say through the age. We need a shelter. Now! This is the place. Come on out. Groundbreaking. 2011.